<laughs> it's humbling that like, people care and whatnot, like, you know what I mean? So it's amazing what people have put on for us. It's really hard. I'm, 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 a, I'm a fighter, but I'm struggling myself at the minute because how cold it is. The food is an essential. Everyone should have it. It should be a right to eat. Um, they should, this shouldn't be the case. I shouldn't be here now talking to you. He wanted to, um, to have a good time and make us feel festive. But when we were there, it kind of put a damper on things because there were a lot of people who were homeless, who were just sat on the streets while a lot of other people were watching the lights and having a good time. We had people say it's impossible, um, and these guys are absolutely speechless. The quality of food that's coming out in the, in the quantity is as well. It's, uh, it's turning out like a Christmas miracle, yeah. Any smaller ones? Yeah. Where are the aprons now? Aprons Jack Meldrum posted on Facebook just the idea and I was like I could probably sort you out a kitchen if you want. A couple of weeks down the line I'm the head chef of the whole operation and yeah we started to raise a lot of money. There was talks going around the kitchen that it was about half a tonne of potatoes alone over the course of three days. Getting 200 meals out of the door on time is hard. Keeping them hot is hard and getting your turkeys and carving them here and they're still steaming, it was just the most satisfying feeling. It's my first time in the kitchen um, and I've done over 60 hours now and I feel like I'm a professional chef coming out but going in it was, it was a new world. I like to cook for people because I, I used to be a chef so I, I'm, I'm so thankful that people give up their time and what, what a wonderful, what wonderful um, example of Christmas spirit. Yes, yes.